Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. Today's video is gonna be about the user interface designing side of the purchasing history page. As you can probably see, this is the view of our page. On top of this page, we can see our typical eShop header section like this. Then by the bottom of this page, we can see our classic footer section like this. This place is showing the page title. Then from here we can see our order numbers like this. Then this place is showing order details. Then this place is showing purchased quantity. Then here we can see amounts of purchases. Then here we can see dates and times of purchases. Customers can use these feedback buttons here to give feedbacks about their purchasing experiences. Then customers can use this button to delete all of these purchasing records at once. Then they can use these buttons to do it individually. So that's all about it. Let's see the codes of our design. Now I'm going to VS Code as you can see. I am currently viewing purchase history.php file. So to keep this page running in the state, it should be I'm linking some other files inside of it. First inside these head tags, I'm linking bootstrap.css file. Then bootstrap icons.css file. Then finally our own style.css file. Then by the bottom of these body tags I am linking bootstrap.bundle.js file then our own script.js file. Then inside of this PHP script, I included a header part.php file like this. Then by the bottom inside of this PHP script, I included our footer section.php file like this. These codes are showing the title of our page. These codes are showing it in blue color. Then these codes are showing the column header titles of the table like section. Actually that table like section is not made of table tags. We are just using div tags like this to construct that view. Then these codes are showing the details inside the table about purchasing history. These codes are showing feedback buttons. Then these codes are showing delete buttons. Then these codes are showing delete all records button. So folks, that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.